Welcome to the channel Take and Make. I'm glad to see you guys here. In this episode I'm gonna show you how to clean some rusty tools with the help of electrolysis for the very low cost. Let's jump in right to it. In order to do it we're gonna need some rusty tools of course. Our guests today is snips and a wrench. We're gonna need cheap power supply. I bought this one for three bucks only. We're gonna need baking soda or washing soda, whatever you got at home. We're gonna need a piece of steel. In my case, this round piece of steel, unplated, uncoated, or whatever you got. We're gonna need some aluminum or copper wire to tie our tools together. Simple water and container to place everything together. Let's talk a little bit more about power supply. I'm using this AC adapter 12 volts output 2.1 amps. You can use anything from 1 to 3 amps for this method. Even less than 12 volts. But what I found out that 12 volts and about 2 amps that's the golden ticket. It cleans rust very very nice. So we're gonna go ahead and cut out this connector and split those two wires. About this much should be good enough. And now we're gonna strip each one too. That's number one and number two. Next question, how do we find out which one plus and which one minus? We can figure this out by putting two of these contacts in a little jar of water. Please don't do it with high voltage power because it's gonna end up badly. Only do it with 12 volts, no more. Okay guys? I warned you. And now we're gonna put them inside this water container. And now we have to watch. Whichever wire starts bubbling, that's our minus. This one right here makes bubbles. So that's our minus. Now, knowing which one where, we can connect our alligator clips. I don't have a soldering gun, but that's okay. If you guys don't have it, you can manage it without it. Just make it bulky a little bit on the end. Put it inside your clip. Take some pliers and squeeze it nicely. One, two, there you go, one is done, all right, our power supply all set up, we know this one negative and this one positive, so we can start cleaning the rust with this magical method. All right, let's prepare our electrolyte. To do this, we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of baking soda. It could be washing soda, doesn't really matter. Soda is not cleaning the tools. Electrolysis does. Our electrolyte is ready to go. So the next step, we're gonna take some aluminum wire and wrap it around our wrench. Can help a little bit with pliers, make it tighter. That's one, and that's two. Now we can tie those together, and that's what we got. Now we're gonna put it down. That's our end. When you put it in, make sure it doesn't touch your parts. See? It isn't touching. 
All right, everything is ready to go. So how do we connect this bad boy? Negative, which is minus, we're gonna connect to our parts. And plus, which is positive, we're gonna connect to our sacrificial anode, our piece of iron or steel. All right, now we just have to turn it on and watch the show. It is that simple. Now we're just gonna have to wait probably one hour and we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, that's how it's looking after almost one hour. That's crazy, that water is so rusty. And I think it's about done. I'm gonna wait another 5-10 minutes and gonna put our wrench and snips into container with hot water and wire brush it clean. Stay tuned. All right guys, here we go. Electrolysis is done. Now it's time to clean it up. Let's take a look at this anode. Look how much rust on it. And here's our parts. You can already see that they weigh cleaner, but wait till we clean them with wire brush. Alright, after another 15 minutes cleaning it with wire brush, let's take a look at our parts. Take a look yourself, that looks pretty damn good. Drop forged 7 eighths and 25 30 seconds, nice and clean, no rust. Now they work nice, open and close freely. They were seized before. All right, guys, I'm done here. Our tools are nice and clean and ready for the second life, second chance, if you will. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider a subscription to my channel. There's gonna be more in the future. I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something. Electrolysis is pretty simple and fun process to watch as you witnessed in this video. So I hope you're gonna try this yourself at home, maybe show it to your kids, they're gonna love it too. Until next one, see ya! See ya!